The backwards law, a paradoxical principle, suggests that the more intensely we chase after something, the more elusive it becomes. It's like trying to grasp a slippery fish. The tighter you squeeze, the faster it slips away. Hey there, beautiful souls. Gabby here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I always love reading and responding to you. It always warms my little heart to see new people join in. Also make sure to watch till the end as I'm offering you an invitation to reconsider the approach to achieving goals and finding satisfaction in life. The backwards law, also known as the law of reversed effort, is a principle that suggests that the more we strive for something, the more likely we are to push it away. The law can be summarized as stop trying and you'll have what you want. This principle is counterintuitive, going against the common notion that hard work and effort lead to success and happiness. The concept of the backwards law has deep roots in various philosophical and spiritual traditions, from Taoism's concept of Wu Wei, non-action, to Buddhism's teachings on non-attachment. These ancient philosophies emphasize the beauty of non-attachment and letting things be. These ideas were later popularized in the West by British philosopher Alan Watts who had a unique talent for translating complex Eastern ideologies into language that was deeply relatable to the Western mind. Modern psychological research also mirrors the principles of the backwards law. Concepts like the paradox of choice and performance anxiety demonstrate how striving for control, certainty, and abundance can often lead to the opposite of what we desire. The more options we have, the more overwhelmed we feel. Similarly, the more we try to control our performance, the more likely we are to underperform due to stress and overthinking. The backwards law manifests in various aspects of our daily lives. Consider happiness, for instance. The more we chase after it, the more it seems to elude us. This is because happiness is not an item to be obtained, but a state of being that arises naturally when we're not overly preoccupied with seeking it. Similarly, the more we try to control our emotions, the more chaotic they become. The more we strive for freedom, the more trapped we often feel. This unique law isn't about passivity or giving up on our goals. Instead, it challenges us to redefine our relationship with effort, control, and desire. It's about recognizing that sometimes, our most determined efforts can be counterproductive. It's about learning to let go when necessary and trusting the process. It's about understanding that growth often comes from unexpected places, and that sometimes it's in the act of surrendering that we find our greatest strength. In relationships, the backwards law can serve as a powerful guide. The more we try to make others love and accept us, the less they often do. This is because love and acceptance cannot be forced or manufactured. They must come naturally and organically. By letting go of our need for approval and validation, we create space for genuine connections to form. In the realm of career and success, this law reminds us that ambition and hard work, while important, are not the only keys to success. Sometimes it's in letting go of our relentless pursuit of success that we find our true passion and purpose. It's in accepting failure and setbacks that we learn and grow. The more we try to force success, the more it seems to slip away. Our mental health can greatly benefit from understanding and applying the backwards law. The more we try to suppress or control our negative emotions, the stronger they often become. By accepting and acknowledging our feelings, we allow them to dissipate naturally. The more we fight against stress and anxiety, the more powerful they become. By accepting these states as natural and transient, we rob them of their power over us. Personal contentment much like happiness, often follows the backwards law. The more we chase after contentment, the more elusive it becomes. This is because contentment is not a destination, but a journey. It's a state of mind that comes from appreciating what we have, rather than constantly striving for more. Self-acceptance, too, operates on the principles of this law. The more we try to change ourselves to fit into a certain mold, the less accepting we become of our true selves. By letting go of societal expectations and pressures, we create space for self-acceptance and self-love. The backwards law, though paradoxical, holds profound wisdom. It invites us to let go of our relentless striving, to stop chasing and start embracing. It reminds us that often surrender is not a sign of defeat, but a path to victory. It's a principle that challenges us, stretches us, and ultimately helps us to live richer, more authentic lives. In a world that constantly demands more, sometimes the most radical act is to consciously choose less. That's it for me for today. I really hope you liked this video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive lift in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.